course, if we have an extra two or three hours, I will be a little bit more complete, but uh, I will try to do it in a couple of minutes. And, uh, and Ben, thanks, and, and thank you to all uh, of you here, uh, and morning, good afternoon, and, and good evening for, for those joining. And, uh, and in fact, today is my 20th birthday in IBM. And believe me or not, I have never believed that I would stay 20 years in, in a company like, uh, like IBM. But why did I stay? I stay because I usually qualify IBM. I don't need to present IBM, but um, it's kind of a startup which is 100 years old, a little bit younger than Philip Morris. But I mean, we went through a certain number of evolution over time. And the cool thing about um, IBM is that we were able, I mean, to, to evolve over time. And now we're facing this set of evolution. We talked about a digital transformation. We talk about the rise of uh, blockchain. We were talking about AI a couple of, uh, of years back. Um, we, um, we were there, I mean, to help people changing their life, people uh, helping them also to, uh, to work in a different way. And remember back in the, uh, uh, I think it was in the 70s or in the 80s, so that's more than 50 years ago, huh? we, we invented the barcode and this changed the way the people were shopping. So and this is again something that uh, while looking at the, at the price of a product, no, you just scan and zip, 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 and, and this is working. And thanks to the guys that invented that at the time. We can maybe say that in maybe 10 or 20 years regarding, regarding blockchain. But I want to stress on some of the points here that we touched at the very beginning uh illicit trade counterfeit product uh, and being sure that uh, what you're selling to someone is really um in in a perfect condition and this kind of thing uh, i mean this is this is being now paramount we're talking about security of data we're talking also now about this security i mean the health of the people not just about medicine but about fresh product as an example um and this is something, some key area that we, are, we, work, uh, we worked on. And one of, the, um, one of the largest blockchain in, I would not say the world, but let's say a large blockchain, which is called IBM Food Trust, which is powered by Walmart, the Carrefour, and, and all of those companies um, is currently running on a blockchain. And um, why? Because then people can trust the quality of the product that they're buying from end to end we tend to usually focus on those problematics on let's say the production of goods and and this is true i mean we need to be sure that uh, we have the right product to build something would it be cigarettes would it be a car would it be whatever you name it and this is you need to find the right provenance here's your provider a right provider and we saw with the COVID when transport i mean ocean transport gets hurt by um, by this crisis that well, where to find some masks? Where to find this, where to find that? Is, are those masks, I mean, genuine one, yes or no? And Carlos touched about the, the watchmaking industry. Is that gold coming from, um, uh, let's say, a sustainable gold mine? Are they child labor? Mm, that's kind of the question that where blockchain can help and can provide, I mean, the level of trust that Anthony uh, uh, put uh, as a, let's say a, a paramount to be sure that when you're building something and when you're using something that this is you can trust in 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 what is built and what you come now we see a raise also in um, also what comes after selling i mean let's say downstream or after sales to be sure that well if I like my watch, uh, as Carlos mentioned, uh, am I the rightful owner? Or if I want to resell my watch, hmm, how is working the second hand market? And this kind of stuff is quite important also to be sure that the, the product that you have are the, the, the rightful product. So security is the paramount. Um, and there are, I mean, so many use cases we, we worked on. I just mentioned food trust for perishable food, uh, which is working, I mean, worldwide. And we're talking about goods and provenance of the goods and trustability of the goods and condition of the goods. You should know that there is a blockchain which is called Trade Lens. I mean, you can go on tradelens.com and see this, um, what this blockchain is about. And this, is, this blockchain currently handles 60% uh, of the ocean freight uh, which is going uh, on the goods 
that are having sold over this uh, this planet and this is like 80 percent of the uh, global gdp so and this is running on one blockchain so blockchain works but blockchain is only let's say an enabler an enabler to give you the capability the trust that the data that you can store you can share and this may be my last point because this is a very very important point and as Frederic said that they're working with the with the government authorities as uh, Anthony said that they're working I mean cross ent uh, enterprise as Carlos as a trust protocol association they're working with many people together I mean you cannot and we can no longer offer uh, the luxury to work uh, in silo uh, blockchain is a de facto uh, silo breaker and but this Technology covers only 10 to 20 percent of the of the real need. The rest is about digital transformation, optimizing my process, changing my processes, etc. So, and uh, it's now I think the perfect time to to act and to think a little bit different to say, well, let's try to work and give a hand to the other ones working with me to be able, I mean, to to break those um, to break those silos. And I will paraphrase. Uh, uh, an old movie back in the 80s for the, the older one of you uh, and it's a little bit when the going gets tough that the tough gets going so we need uh, we have the capability today to to make uh, to make good uh, i mean good quantum leaps uh, working with this this new technology and maybe i conclude with one word and which is my motto and no one is immune to a good idea so wherever you have a good idea Let's work together.